Over the years, I've tried making money with different sources of income and today I will share with you the ones that are really working for me or others that I believe that have a lot of potential in 2024. I don't want to waste your time but just for the sake of making it clear from the very beginning, I also must tell you that recently there has been a lot of buzz about this whole concept of passive income. Just to clarify, it, passive income does not mean getting paid doing nothing. Instead, you need to compromise what you will give in return, so that will either be your time or some sort of investment you need to put up front. So let's start with the very first one which has a lot of potential and when I think about it, this one is really passive and I'm talking about renting out space. And when I say space, I'm not talking about the rooms and stuff, but I'm actually talking about things like an open area or a parking spot. From the perspective of a consumer, I can remember paying up to a hundred dollars per month to rent a parking spot in a busy area. I know a guy that has a really big driveway and he just collects 100 to 150 per month from different kids that just don't know where to park their cars. And it's not that you can leave your car in the middle of the street, right? So in an average month he was making something like 2000 per month. Now you might be wondering, hey, let's suppose that I have a big driveway, but where can I find the people that would be willing to pay me a hundred dollars to park their cars in my area? I can't just go outside and ask random people if they'd like to park on my driveway. Well, there's no need to do that since you can go to this website called Spot Hero and you can list your free parking spot in there. By the way, I'm not sponsored by this website, but I'm just sharing it from a consumer's perspective. As you can see on the website, people find the option to park monthly and they can search for your area, see your prices and then rent your parking spot. Now, the money you can make from this might be enough to cover for your electricity bill or internet bill. But another great way to earn some passive income is putting your money into a high interest savings accounts. In case you have never heard of this before, you can get something like 4.6% yearly interest simply because you decided to park your money on an online banking account like SoFi. Even if you start with a small amount like $1000, you can still get something like $40 to $50 per year in terms of interest. And on top of that, at the time of making this video, you can earn up to $300 when you create a new account with them. Please be very careful to read all the terms and conditions because these are things that might change in the future. Anyway, if you've got a little bit more money laying around and you decide to put $10,000 in there, that would have been an easy $400 to $500 extra per year. Again, this is only if you've got nothing better to do with that money and you just don't want to have money laying around at your home or leaving it in your bank for a 0.01% interest per year. If you've got a business idea or or you have been thinking about an investment and are convinced about it, then go ahead because in that case, it might be better than the online savings accounts. As for the next one, I'm pretty sure that almost all of you have thought about doing this at one certain point in your life. I'm talking about renting out your car or your gear. So if you live in a big city and you use public transportation and you don't use your car more than a few times per week, then it might be a great idea to rent it out and collect some money. Now again, there is no need to go out there on the streets and start looking for people that are willing to rent but you can go over to Turo and you already know how this works and that it has been around for quite some time now so I don't want to talk about it for too long. Basically when you go on Turo you register as a host in there and depending on what car you drive you can get paid anywhere between 40 to $150 per day. For anything above that, however, I would not suggest using Turo because it means that your car might be too luxurious and you don't want to rent it out in there. You can do the same if you want to rent out gear that you don't use all the time. For example, a little bit more than two years ago, I bought a new Sony A7 Mark IV, together with a pretty expensive lens, but overall, I only use it no more than 4 hours per week when I'm recording my videos every Friday and Tuesday sometimes. For the rest of the days, however, the camera just used to lay around in my room doing absolutely nothing. 
So one day I was thinking of renting it out to people that need it and saw that I could rent this camera out for around $80 per day. I have done this a few times and again, there are so many websites that give you the possibility of renting out your recording gear regardless of where you live in the world. Please be picky because you don't want to rent it out to the wrong people. This can make you enough to cover up for some of your items on your grocery list. The next one is something that I've tried to do myself a couple of times in the past but it might be a little bit sketchy and please be very careful as it might be illegal in some countries. I'm talking about lending out money to friends or family or even relatives. In my country this used to be something quite normal specifically in the past when people were quite hostile to banks. There were a lot of people lending money and were adding a kind of interest on top of that usually around below 20%. So if a friend of mine for example or someone I know needs a thousand dollars I might agree to give that money to him if he agrees to give me back the initial a thousand dollars plus a hundred dollars in interest. Now normally this must be done with mutual agreement and preferably in front of an attorney because something might go wrong in the future and quite frankly in most of the cases things didn't go as predicted. More often than not the other person would be willing to pay me back the money he got from me but they would try to avoid paying the interest at any cost. And in some countries like in my country for example you cannot simply sue them because this whole concept of lending out money towards interest is illegal. Again I brought this as an example of passive income but I'm not sure if I totally recommend this one. Now another great source of passive income is being a content creator on YouTube. Now I know I've shared this in the past but now is the perfect time to show you you why YouTube is a great source of passive income. Quite frankly, I would never consider YouTube a source of passive income if it wasn't for this single video in here. Ever since I posted this video a few months back, it hasn't stopped bringing me revenue on a regular basis. There might be days when I make a couple of cents from it, there might be other days when I make $13 from it, but all of this is 100% passive from a video that took me a couple of hours to create several months ago. Now, this is a very small channel and I only have two videos that bring me regular views. Let me tell you that there are a lot of search based channels out there that keep generating passive income from videos they have posted and created months or even years ago. Sometimes you don't even need the fancy camera I mentioned earlier but you can make use of the so called faceless YouTube channels to create search based videos and try to rank on the search result. It might take time, yes it does but it is proven to work as a passive income source. It happens sometimes that people love to make money from YouTube and think that it is easy but once they start and get some poor results they get demotivated fast and simply quit. Sometimes all you need is to see the full picture of what it takes to succeed on YouTube and how much you can make in a full year. And just in case you'd be interested to see that video I will make sure to link it up in here and you can certainly check it out.